Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Jackson, and welcome back to another video thing. So, you boys got a bit of an announcement. If you couldn't tell by the title, I'm getting top surgery. Yeet yeet. So, this has been booked for a while. Um, I just didn't really want to talk about it yet because I didn't want to jinx anything just in case. So, yes, I'm getting top surgery. Um, I am getting top surgery on April 2nd. If all goes well with my consultation on April 1st and I am going to Poland. In this video I'm going to talk about picking a surgeon and how I went about it and why I picked Lembas and yeah just all that jazz so enjoy. If you're new to this channel and you want to subscribe you totally should because we're nice people here and we just like making good content so yeah. Also, if you're excited for me to get top surgery, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm and all that jazz. I've already explained it before, but yeah, give it a thumbs up. Because I'm excited. And I hope you're excited too. So I booked my consultation with um, Dr. Lembas. I was originally going to go with Dr. Mosberry, but then I found out the price and I was like, yeah, not him. I'm somebody who works part-time, casual hours, so trying to get that much money from Mosberry was just unrealistic. Um... Mosberry was about, I think, like 7,000 euro, and if not more. So my surgeon that I'm going to now, Lembas, is in Poland, and he's 3,000 euro, but that's not including, like, flights and expenses when I get there. That's just, like, the surgery and the anesthetic and the hospital stay, so, like, that's what that's costing. <laughs> so, yeah, just to add in really quickly, I do have a GoFundMe for the top surgery. You don't have to give anything at all if you don't want to. I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. But if you want to help out, or if you feel like you can and you want to, links down below. That's all I'm going to say about it. So yeah. So I was looking at different results, and Marsberries were absolutely unbelievable. I've had a couple of friends who went to Marsberry. I have Noah, Phoenix, um, I have Elliot, I have Toby. I have a couple of friends that have been to him, and I actually have a friend going to him in September. And I would have absolutely have loved to go to get my top surgery with Marsberry, but I couldn't because it's just, and I can't because it's too expensive. <laughs> I don't have enough money for chicken nugget. When I found out that the only consultation available for Lembas in Poland was on April 1st, I was like, that is so far. Because I was hoping to get my top surgery this year, but just realistically, it's just not possible. Like, I could save for it, and if they had an opening space, I would go to Poland this year to get it done. But it's just, they just don't have it, and, you know... It's fine. <laughs> I have been saving my absolute ass off. I've been at least putting in like 80% of my wages every single week from work um, into top surgery savings. You know, priorities. Um, so that's been hard, but like it's going to be totally worth it in the end. I am getting double incision with nipple grafts. And I've only found a few results from Lembas, but I have a friend, Ollie, going over there. I think he's already gotten a top surgery done yet. He hasn't really posted about anything yet. So it's definitely this week that he's getting it done. So if Ollie ever watches this, congrats, bro. Who is it? My mother Mary interrupting again. So I know somebody else who also went to Lembas and their results look amazing. Um, and I'm just going to see how my friend... It was quite hard to find results from Lembas. I think I only found like one to like four kind of results. And that's hard because I do have a lot of friends who went to Mossberry. So I saw a lot of results from him. Uh, but I have seen good results from Lembas. And i will be there for about two and a half weeks because... Lembas likes to do a one week checkup and then a two week checkup and then I'll have to fly home about a day or two later after that So I think I'll be gone from like the 31st of March until like the 17th of April I'm super excited, but I'm also super nervous. I've never had any type of surgery before like ever I think the only like needle or anesthetic I've ever gotten was when I was getting a filling in my tooth So that is something I'm genuinely genuinely scared about and um, it's not even the procedure I think it's just getting put under the anesthetic, but I know that literally I'll basically not even feel it and then when I wake up the nips will be snipped so you know it's it's gonna be worth it I'm just quite scared of the surgery like I'm getting sliced open there is a chance that I won't be getting top surgery on April 2nd because my consultation is on April 1st and if they feel there's any reason that they shouldn't do the surgery then I'll be told then so like I could be wasting like two and a half weeks worth of like accommodation money and then I also could be losing flights so it's something i'm very scared of that i don't think there's any reason to say no like i've had no medical conditions i don't have anything that should affect it so i'm just hoping to god that i do get top surgery on april 2nd that's the only thing about like the thing that i didn't like was that when i asked them if i had my consultation on april 1st when would i have surgery and i was expecting like a couple of weeks later maybe a couple months later and they're like oh we can put you in for april 2nd since you're flying over from ireland and at first I was like, oh, that's so great, but I kind of wish I had been like, mm, you know, no thanks, because 
if it goes wrong, everything's already pre-booked. So I'm just hoping to God that it works out well. <laughs> so yeah, that's all there is to talk about. And a little recap, I am getting top surgery, hopefully on April 2nd with Dr. Lembas in Poland and Warsaw. I did originally want to go with Miles Berry, but it was too expensive. Um, I just, me and my family cannot cover the costs. And yeah, gonna be there for two and a half weeks. I'm getting double incision with nipple grafts. I'm gonna look sexy. Mm. And I'm just super excited because this is my last summer wearing a binder, hopefully. So sick of this. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're excited for me to get top surgery, hopefully give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're new and you wanna see more of my content in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as I upload. I'm sorry I did not upload last week. I was super busy with documentation for college and like getting my like documents changed with like name and gender and all that jazz. So, and I've also been minding a Siberian Husky this whole week and it's it's been tough. So I'm sorry I didn't upload, but I had shit to do. But I'm back, bitches. Mm. So as usual, I love you all so much, and I hope you had, have, or are having an amazing day. Quote Nell and be kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.